ready. You Ooh. got this, bro. Three, yeah. two, one, and... Hello everyone, my name is Camille, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for your Sony A7 Mark III. Well, any Sony systems, to be honest. This is not a Sony A7 Mark III, but the camera I'm shooting on is. But the best settings to shoot time lapses on. Um, I've recently shot a time lapse and it looks absolutely amazing. It looks beautiful, it's incredible, as some of you guys said in the comment section below. So without any further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay, hopping into the video is a pretty bad idea, but let's just get in with the tutorial, shall we? So first things first, what you want to do is turn on your Sony camera. Once it's turned on, switch your dial to aperture priority. Once you've set it to aperture priority, what you want to do is go into menu and go into the first tab over here with the first camera. Once you've on that, go into page four. We're already on page four, but I am going to go from the very, very beginning. So page one, two, three, and four, and go into interval dot shoot slash dot function, and um, press onto that. And what you wanna do is turn on interval shooting. Click on here and put it on. And when you set that on, whenever you press the shutter button, it will start your interval shooting. Shoot a start time. Um, set that to whenever you really like. Um, I have it set to five seconds. What this basically means is uh, that whenever you start shooting or whenever you press the uh, shutter button, when it starts, it gives you a five second head start. So we'll do a five second countdown until it does the first shot. Shooting interval is how often it's going to take a picture whenever you're shooting your time lapse. So I have it set to five seconds. You can change it to whatever you like. Um, you can change it to 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 2 seconds. Obviously, it does depend for how long you're shooting. If you're doing something that I did recently, which is the transition from night to day, every 5 seconds or every 10 seconds should be absolutely perfectly fine for you. Once you've done that, go on the number of shots. The number of shots will determine how long your time lapse is going to be or how long is it going to take to capture. Um, you can go unlimited to 99999, which will basically be shooting for about 13 hours. It's just absolutely crazy. When I was capturing the actual time lapse, I set it up to 2999 um, and I captured it for about four hours. Um, I think I cut the shooting off a little bit earlier than four hours, but um, do play around with that. Depending on how long you want to capture for, uh, play around with the number of shots. Next is going to be AE Tracking Sense. Um, I have that set to mid. Um, it's it's the best option mid it just it just works <laughs> um and then next on the second page in silent shoot interval um basically whenever it shoots a photo it's going to make a beeping sound so i would suggest uh, turning this on it will save your battery life um for longer shooting periods and finally shoot interval priority i have this on i don't really know what it does but having it off does not affect your time lapses Finally, what you want to do is exit out of the menu system and set up the exposure. And I have it set to zero or plus 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.3. And this basically allows the camera to automatically expose the picture by utilizing the aperture on your camera. Finally, the ISO. You want to keep the ISO anywhere between 600 and about a thousand. This is the best ISO and you will avoid any grain in your footage or photos which you'll eventually convert into footage. And the f-stop, keep that at 11 in order to keep everything in focus. And once you've done that, go out there, explore the world and capture time lapses.